Hello, welcome to Sherry's Fun Fan Classroom. The list of DC fans are divided into two wires, three wires and four wires. If the fan has only two wires, it has only positive and negative poles. So how are the signals of wires 3 and 4 controlled? Now let our technical engineer demonstrate to us. This fan is a 3-wire fan, consisting of a power line alarm feedback line. When the fan is running normally, it shows low power frequency. When the fan is blocked, it shows high power frequency. Demonstration is as follow. Now the fan is running normally, showing a low power frequency. When the fan is stored, it jumps to a high power frequency. At the same time, the alarm signal alarms. This fan is a 4-wire fan, including power line, PWM control line, PID feedback line. We use the PWM control line to adjust the fan speed by adjusting the duty cycle. The speed feedback signal is a square wave signal and can be displayed on an oscilloscope. Now, we control the fan speed by manually adjusting the duty cycle. At the same time, observe the waveform of the feedback signal on the oscilloscope. This is the feedback signal with a duty cycle of 10%. Next, we will adjust the duty cycle to 25%. Now, the duty cycle is 25%. The fan speed is 2600 RPM. The feedback signal is displayed on the oscilloscope. Now we will adjust the duty cycle to 50%. Now the fan duty cycle is 50%. The fan speed is 5160 RPM. The oscilloscope displays a square wave signal when the duty cycle is 50%. Now we will adjust the duty cycle to 75%. Now the duty cycle is 75%. The fan speed reaches 7000. 500 RPM. Now the duty cycle is adjusted to 100%. The fan speed has reached the maximum speed of the fan. The feedback signal of the fan is displayed on the oscilloscope. Follow us for getting more real stuff about fans.